Today, guys, we're going out to the Diesel Whiskey Row. This one's been on the back burner for a while. I've been trying to get this thing reviewed, along with a bunch of other sticks. Honestly, I've got quite a few that are uh, set to review. I just haven't been able to get in front of the camera. I really smoke cigars at all lately. I've just been busy. The weather has sucked. I don't have a place to smoke cigars indoors. I know what you're saying. I'm indoors right now. But mostly, when I do my reviews, I just sit in here to uh, just to film the review itself, and I smoke the cigar outside. The ventilation in here is terrible. There's really none to speak of. And so uh, it's just a horrible place to smoke. So I smoke outside constantly. But the weather has just been awful lately, so it's been really difficult to do. And a patio heater only does so much. But finally, here we go with the Diesel Whiskey Row. Uh, this one is the first bourbon barrel aged or barrel aged or even I think anything non-traditional uh, from Diesel and maybe even from AJ Fernandez entirely, I think. So when I saw this thing first popped up on my radar, I gotta get my hands on that thing. <laughs> it's been out for a while and I'm just now getting to it. That's the way things go sometimes. <laughs> Let's check it out. The wrapper is an Ecuadorian Habano. The binder is a Mexican San Andreas, which is bourbon barrel aged. The fillers, all from Nicaragua, from Ometep, Jalapa, and Condega. This is a 6x54 Toro, price range uh, 5 to $8 a stick. Well, the bands do cover up a good amount of this cigar, but you can see a decent amount of wrapper underneath. And what you can see looks excellent, it really does. The, uh, the double cap at the top looks almost flawless. A very silky feeling from this wrapper. Not too many veins in it, the seams are nice and tight. Kind of a sweet cedar aroma from the wrapper. Get our foot band off here. And underneath that is just the exact same as what you could see before. Looks excellent. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this thing with a punch today. Admittedly, because I can't find any of my cutters. I don't know where they all went. I just keep losing stuff, it's terrible. Kind of a mild pre-light draw. Uh, touch on the tight side and uh, uh, maybe a touch of raisin in the flavor on there. <clears throat> okay, let's get lit. All right, a beautiful start to this thing, despite the fact that I absolutely charred the crap out of the foot as I was toasting it, my bad. the draw. There's a definite oakiness to it, not surprising in the least. Through the finish, it begins with a touch of spice, but then kind of warms into a little bit of a caramely sweetness. Then the end of the finish just leaves a remainder of black pepper on your tongue. And it stays there for quite a while, quite a long finish, I will say. Decent amount of smoke output. The draw, just a touch on the tight side, but just about perfect. We'll see where it goes from there. Guys, 15 minutes in, this thing is really going well. Beautiful burn, beautiful looking ash. Flavors really kind of mellowed out and simplified. Right now, it's just a mixture of uh, <clears throat> that oak and a caramely sweetness. The spice held on almost really until just a couple minutes ago, but now it's almost completely gone. It's a medium, actually just a touch above a medium body flavor, sorry, just a touch above a medium body. Flavor wise, it's actually probably closer to a medium. And there is good flavor there, but it's definitely not full flavor. Really excellent, we'll talk to you again soon. Guys, I gotta tell you, I'm about halfway through. Actually, just, just passed. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but this thing has just been an incredibly smoky cigar. Lots of foot smoke, lots of draw smoke. Just a notable thing about it. Flavor-wise, we've gotten into a little bit of earth. Everything else is pretty much the same. Still kind of sweet, but uh, digging into a little bit of earth here into the, uh, moving into probably the final third. Been great. 
Uh, it's been good consistent draw and burn. Yeah, a little awry right now, but uh, <clears throat> other than that, not much else to talk about. I'm about to take this band off here and we'll talk to you one more time before I put it down. All right, that's the end of that one, guys. Decent stick, I liked it. Start off here <clears throat> at the beginning, somewhat complex. Uh, definitely a strong oak flavor from this cigar. Started off with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of spice. <clears throat> that oak, along with a little bit of sweetness, that progressed into the second third. Very sweet second third, kind of a caramel sweetness mixed with that oak. Probably a lot has to do with that uh, the barrel aging, a very bourbon flavor combination there. That final third transition to a little bit of earth. And the sweetness kind of went away for a little bit and then it kind of returned a little bit along with uh, a decent amount of uh, an almond nut flavor as well. Construction wise, it had a great draw, had a really good burn all the way through. The ash fell off at about inch, inch and a half long chunks. So no complaints there. Uh, yeah, like I said, a nice straight burn pretty much all the way down. And uh, body wise, it, uh, Somewhere in the medium to full range. I don't know. I, I want to say that it was closer to the full range, but it, it really wasn't. It was, it, was, it was a pretty pretty medium medium side uh, as far as the body is concerned. No strength to speak of in that stick at all. Uh, Flavor-wise, somewhere in the, the medium flavor range. It definitely wasn't a, a full flavored cigar like is really prominent in the, in the diesel line. This one's definitely a little bit different, you know? A lot of times you pick up a diesel stick and, and you kind of know somewhat what it's gonna taste like you know it, it, it just it just tastes like a diesel cigar or even just kind of like an AJ Fernandez cigar it kind of has that signature flavor this one was a little bit different and it, you know, that's not to say that's a bad thing because it was an excellent cigar but uh, just a little bit different than the, the standard fare from diesel so which is to be expected given the you know the barrel aging it's, it's a lot different than than a lot of their sticks so I'm very happy with that a good stick I do recommend you try it Cigar Page has these uh, on their website. The link is in the description below. You'll find them there for cheaper than anywhere else, and they will ship to you free. So I definitely recommend you check them out. I think that's all I have to say, guys. Great stick from Diesel, and, and it's uh, one that I, I knew I wanted to smoke, and I'm glad I finally did. So I'll leave it at that. Happy smoking.